Hi, good day. My name is Trevor Kettler. I'm the owner and founder of Kettler Presentations and I've been in the strategic training industry for the last 28 years. Now, I've written a book called Time, Your Responsibility to Manage. And how I got to writing this book is that I've been coaching many, many CEOs and directors of company and entrepreneurs and I've noticed then that these people, although they're very good at doing what they do, when it came to managing time, there was always that problem that held them back to achieve the things that they wanted to achieve. And quite interesting enough, when we sat down and we discussed the elements of time wasters and the things that they do wrong, that I realized that it wasn't just them who had that problem, but it was you and me. And all of us have that problem with time. Now, what is time? Time is something that's given to us that we have the privilege and the blessing of using in a 24-hour basis. Now, if you're going to waste time, and how often do you say to yourself at the end of a day, sure, I just didn't have enough time to do all the things I wanted to do. So if you waste time, you can't use that time the next day. That time is gone, it's finished. And you've only got those 24 hours that we have to handle in one given day. So what we need to do is how to manage our time more effectively, how to be responsible for the time that we should be responsible for. How do you get as much done in a given day that you can possibly do, and how about this, still have time left over. So in my book there are quite a few areas that I've discussed, and it's not a, a long book to read, I call it an airport book, you can sit at the airport, you can read it, and people have told me that by reading this book and applying the principles that I've got in there, that you can save yourself two hours a day. What you do with those two hours, that's your problem. So a couple of the lessons that we've learned here is, the firstly I start off with how to set objectives. Now, what we need to do at the start of any given day, you need to know what it is that you want to achieve in that day. You need to have a diary. And a diary is not an A4 book with all pages and lines and absolute mess, but a proper time management diary. Within that diary, you're going to start setting your objectives. You're going to start looking at what are the things that you have to achieve today. What's important, what's not important. There are a lot of tools that I've given you as well, whereby you can apply to set those objectives. So, lesson number one is what is it that I need to achieve today? What am I going to do and how can I do it? Another problem comes in that while you're trying to apply these objectives that you've set, people will come and interrupt you. Your boss walks into your office and he says, please do this. Now, because your boss has given it to you, you think, well, I better do it quickly, which means then that you've got to put on hold all the other things that you've planned. And this now really knocks out your day. So there's a chapter there called The Boss Problem. And not that your boss generally gives a problem, but how do you manage the boss's time? How do you manage your time around the boss? And we look at many ways of having a way of saying this that my boss has given to me is important yeah, and I need to do it now. If your boss gives you something that is not that important that you don't have to do now, then you can delay it and you confer it when you have a moment within your time. So you're not using and wasting your objectives and your things that you need to do because the boss has just said that you must do it. Now another thing that people don't often look at is how we organize ourselves. So personal organization is so important and part of that is how you plan. And there are a lot of areas that you can plan in your day. There are a lot of things that you can do differently because in personal organization what do you have to do to be in control? How do you have the confidence to manage your time? How can you start saying no to people when you shouldn't just be that nice guy and always saying, yes, I'll do it and don't worry, I'll do it at your own expense. You need to stand up and you need to say no. You need to have confidence to be able to do it. What a lot of people in time management who have trained it don't look at is why is your time bad? Why do you do the things that you do? Why is it that you are very good at managing a lot of things 
but then some people you just procrastinate. What is procrastination? It's leaving something that you should be doing today for tomorrow. So what we need to look at here is what type of personality are you? How can you learn from yourself and from the way that you have been brought up, the way that you are, the culture that you follow, how can you manipulate that into your time management program? So there are many different types of personality styles and in the book it's highly laid out as to which one that you should really follow. Another chapter we've got there is how to manage other people's time. So how to be on top of what other people are doing. Now, especially if you're a manager, especially if you're an entrepreneur, especially if you have people underneath you, you're the boss, you're the supervisor. So you can dictate how other people work. And if you can manage them in a good, decent way, if you can manage them to do their job properly, it will help save you a lot of time in your management. Now, there are a couple of other chapters, and I'm not going to go too much into it because of time's sake, but there are a couple of other things, and one of the most important things is problem solving. Now, we all deal with problems on a daily basis. A problem is any issue that you don't have a solution to. A problem is something that can take up a lot of your time if it's not managed effectively, if it's not managed properly. And I'll give you ways of how to problem solve certain ideas. And I've got a little graph there that I've designed myself that takes you in the S formula and you go from one step to the other and you just manage everything. So we're not saying that at the end that you're going to make the best decision, but what we are saying is that you are going to be able to save time when you manage those issues that come up. Planning is a big thing in the book. And if you don't plan, you won't save time. Planning is not done on the day, but planning should be done the night before. So before you go to sleep, make a list, keep a pen and paper next to your bed. Make a list of all the things that you should be doing tomorrow, just write them down. And I often do that, and I must say, when I start writing, suddenly a million other things come up, and I just keep writing on that list. And the next morning, I take it into the office, and I put it into my diary. By having that list next to your bed helps you so much to sleep better because you need the energy for the next day and it gets your mind off what the things that you have to do. So if you don't write things down, you're going to lie in bed and you're going to worry, oh, I mustn't forget to do this. And you get to the office and you say to yourself, now what was that thing that I had to do? And you worry about the things that you haven't done. So I'm saying to you, write it down, keep it in your diary and plan effectively. And one last thing I'd like to share with you today is how to keep a diary. And I said earlier that you need to keep a proper time management diary, and you can buy it at most shops, and all there are is not just a normal diary, but it's a diary that is an A5, which is possibly that size, and it's got a page a day, and it's broken up into different areas. In my book, I've got a sample of that page, and I'm more than happy to share with you and to give you a blank page if you just email me, which I'll give you my email address at the end. So write down all the things in your diary, all the things that you have to do. Now that you've got your list, then you need to move it over to your time schedule. So on the left-hand side of the page where you've got the 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, that's your schedule time. So if you're going to see Mrs. Jones at 10 o'clock, then at 10 o'clock write down Mrs. Jones. If you have to phone her, Say, phone Mrs. Jones at 10 o'clock. Anything that does not have a time schedule, you just keep on the other side of the page. So these are all your activities. These are all the things that you have to do. The most important thing to do in a diary is to tick it off. The minute you've done something, you tick it. So now you're going to say to yourself, well, what happens if I phone Mrs. Jones and she's not there? Do you tick it off that you phoned her or do you tick it off because you've sorted it out? Well, this is what I do. So I phone Mrs. Jones at 10 o'clock and she's not there. So I give it a half a tick. And half a tick is because I phoned her at 10 o'clock but I haven't completed what I had to discuss with her. I will go back to Mrs. Jones during the day when I've got some spare time and I'll go through my diary and I'll have a look at anything that's not ticked off. That's what I need to do when I've got a few minutes. I'll quickly phone Mrs. Jones. 
I get hold of her, I discuss what I have to discuss with her, and then and only then will I complete that tick. Now, if you have put something in your diary that you're not going to do today or that you couldn't do today, most important is move it over to the next day and you write it in there under the activities list. And in the morning you can decide, okay, this is the time that I'm going to do it or I have a meeting at 8 o'clock and it just helps you to plan so much better. I really want you to read that book. Get that book because it will save you two hours. It will make your life so much more better. It will make you so much more productive just by putting into practice the things that I've got in there. There are universities that are using this book as a set work book. And if you get onto my website and you'll see it underneath, it's Trevor Kettler at kettler.co.za. Order the book online. You can order it on my website at www.kettler.co.za. And any problems, get hold of us and I'm more than willing to talk you through it and to discuss things with you. And I wish you all the very best. I wish you nothing but good time. I wish you lots of time in the future and great success because you are in control of you. So thank you for watching Global Conference TV. And if you want to be successful as an entrepreneur, it's changing the world one inspired and transformed person at a time.